you're going to be able to do all those things. Uh, you know, you know, auto home insurance, these are the, the, the rules, right? You get lots of discounts when they're married and they both have a driver's license, okay? And they both drive. Uh, now, if one of them is married, if, if they're married but just one of them drive, that means that they're going to have to exclude the other one. And so just a few carriers are going are, are gonna to come back, only like a couple carriers. But the best preferred, the best carriers that will give them the best price, usually, you know, will not come back if they have to exclude a driver, right? So if I'm, if I'm sitting down, if, if, if uh, let's say only the husband drives, I tell them that, you know, I tell them that they're single, right? And so, uh, so then, so they were only coding the husband without excluding the driver, the other, the other person. So then you can get other, other companies to quote it for you. You get a multi-car discount, which gives you multi-policies, uh, you know. So let's say if, you have, if they have more than two cars in the policy, then you get a discount, right? So if there's only one car, you don't get that discount. But if, as long as they got two cars in the policy, there's a discount. There's a multi-policy, like an out and home. So if I, if I, if I use somebody, they already have a progressive policy because they have a motorcycle through progressive. Well, guess what? I want to I wanna know how much the auto insurance is going to be with us with Progressive because I already know the client already has a motorcycle with Progressive. So, we, you know, if they get motorcycle plus their car insurance, that gives them the multi-policy discount. Does that make sense? Yes. So that's something right there uh, with some carriers. So being with the same carrier for more than five years, uh, obviously the longer the better, right? Uh, you know, so that just builds up more history. Obviously no tickets, no accidents. If they got college degree, even better. They got alarm system, great credit score, right? Uh, you know, before getting, you know, you know usually uh, if they, um, if, you know, because they want to, you know, they ask for their social, right? And I, and I ask them, say, hey, by the way, what would you rate your credit? Good, bad, uh, great, what would you say? And if they say, oh, my credit is bad, I, I, you know, I'll just tell them, hey, can you bypass that? The client doesn't want to give the social, right? And uh, because I don't want them to run anything like that because they'll maybe, you know, even come back even higher. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. But if a client says, hey, my credit, no, my credit is great, you know, say, hey, this is, a, this is not a, a, an inquire. It's not going to go, it's not going to affect your credit in any way. This is just to get an insurance score. That's what it does. It's called, it's called an insurance score just to figure it out, uh, you know, their history and stuff like that so they can get their best rate. So, and if they have good credit, great. The preferred, um, the preferred carriers are going to give them a, you know, a really good offer, right? Uh, miles to work, right? Obviously, the more miles they drive, the more liabilities they have, right? So, if they're more risky, they run into uh, getting into an accident and stuff like that, right? Uh, kids living at home, that's a discount. Now, uh, now you got to make sure if somebody is licensed in that home, okay, and they're not included in the policy, because you didn't want to include, well, it's okay, right? It's going to go through the first, the first month probably. But then once, once the carrier check the, dry, the, the driver's license that are pulled under that address, because they can check with DMV how many driver's licenses are registered to that address, right? And they're going to check that John, that Matt is both driving. They both have driver's license, but they're not in the policy. And while most companies, what they would do, they would say, hey, John and Max, who's that? You know, they're they're showing up under your address, but they're not as drivers. What's going on? And so if you tell them, well, I don't want to include them. Well, they're my sons. They're driving. Well, either you can include them or exclude them, but you, you can't. You know, just leave them out, right? So if they find out like that now, if they're if they're if if the uh, driver's license is not registered to that address, then you know, and the husband, the mom and dad don't want to include the son. That's okay, right? They can do that. So then you don't want to, the worst thing that you want, you don't want to do anything that you set up the auto insurance policy and you close the life insurance because you set up a whole package. And then the auto insurance, they start having problems with it because you didn't add the search in person and, so, and such and such person. And then the auto insurance comes back and say, hey, we're going to have to cancel your policy. And, uh, and then they're going to call you and try to cancel the uh, life insurance too. And it just becomes a whole mess. So be up front. If there are drivers in the house, great. If there's no drivers, okay, you know, no problem. But, um, you know, one of the things that, I, you know, I did in the past is I try to help them out, but then not including the 16-year-old kids, right, which there's, you know, the, the rates will skyrocket. 
And, uh, and then a month later, the company finds out and then they, they want to figure out who's that person and then they end up canceling that policy if they don't provide the, the information within, within the time uh, period that they're asking. And so, uh, so, you know, if you can do the auto in life, great. But, you know, as long as there are good policies and they're, you know, the client's not going to have a problem a month from now, uh, you know, because they you know everything's legit, right? And so uh, those are the, the rules of the out and home insurance game. I mean, some of them you're going to say this, some of them you won't, right? And uh, but those are the, the things that you got to watch out for. Now, if I'm sitting down with the client and they already have, you know, they have, they're paying 80 bucks for two cars. You know, maybe they have one full coverage, one liability. You can kind of tell, you can kind of tell, like, if they have a good rate or not, yeah. right? Okay, you know what? Two cars, one full coverage, one liability. I mean, that's like less than, that's an average of $40 a car. You know, that's, you know, if I'm able to save them money, maybe I'll save them, you know, maybe I'd go down to $70 or so, uh, you know, or $75. Maybe it's not going to be a huge difference. But when somebody, you talk, oh, I got two cars, yeah, we're paying 150 Boom. That's, that's, a, that's a red flag right there, right? Mm -hmm. Because then you know, okay, 150, oh really? Oh, okay, do you guys have any tickets or accidents? That's my first question, right? Yeah. Oh no, we don't work clean, right? Oh, you guys don't have anything in the past three, five years? Oh no, yeah, we might have just one ticket there, but you know, no accidents, nothing else. And so I know right there, there's a huge potential amount of savings that we can save that client. And I'm gonna take the time to go over the extra miles, so you know what? Let me, if we can save you guys, da 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 da, and book a great package because I know there's potential savings right there because the client's overpaying, right? But some clients, they have really cheap insurance, right? You know, they have a car, one car liability, they're paying 40 bucks. Don't even waste your time, you know? Okay, you got one car liability, 40 bucks. Well, mine will probably be 39 50 cents, right? It's not, don't, don't waste your time. You know what? It seems like you have a great rate. You know what? Keep what you have. But how about, how about your family? Do you have that protected? Oh, no, okay, hold on, let me, let's get that in place, because it seems like on your auto insurance, you have a really good rate, but let's get a really good rate on your, on your family now, right? And so, uh, compliment them and, and, you know, and congratulate them, right? So, that's, that's the, any, any, any questions as far as the auto home insurance? Some of you guys. So, how you can handle when uh, the, the auto insurance is low, mm -hmm. but they have a, a over average in their home insurance? Oh, okay. So you can figure it out. So, so, so if they, so if they have low auto insurance, but a, but a high home insurance, you can just do the home insurance. But you can make a. a you can make a package, yeah. You can try to make a package. If you can, yeah, because you get that multi-policy discount. But you know, if we cannot beat it on on their auto, but we can beat it on their home, then they can just take advantage of the home, right? I mean, that's one of the things. Um, now, for them to do the renter's insurance, they have to do the auto insurance with us. Yeah. Okay? So somebody just wants the renter's insurance, well, we got the auto with us. You don't get paid on renter's Yeah, you don't get paid on renter's. You only get paid on auto home. And by the way, we only get paid on auto home as long as, as they have current coverage. Okay? So if they have, it's like a new home or they just bought a new car, they never had insurance, you know, or they had insurance but they canceled more than 30 days and stuff like that. And you're doing a new insurance for them, you don't get paid. We only get paid by replacing their policies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adi? Or yeah. So, what is the quickest way for you to find out if there are some policies or carriers that give you some add ons or other features and benefits that you can try to find? Right. When you do it, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're doing the quo, you figured out, you figured out what they have. And you can say, you know what? Oh, it seems like you guys don't have rental or you don't have towing here. You know what? With us, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw that in for you guys. Let's see what comes out, right? And if anything comes out a little bit cheaper, but just a little bit or the same, but you can go on the benefit. You know what? But ours is gonna give you this, this, and that, and plus I'm gonna protect your family. Okay. Some pe people might be say, oh, yeah, I'll pay the extra five dollars for the other. Exactly. Or, yeah. You know, some people they want the benefit, they're just not educated on. It. Right. You know, they they're just never nobody ever taught them. You know. If, if it's just going to cost just a few bucks extra to have this many benefit, you know what, I want it. You know, just charge me for it. I'm, I'm willing to pay it. Right. right? It's just that the other agent never mentioned. They wanted to keep, you know, things cheap, and, you know, they never offered that benefit. Right. So, I have a friend. He has three cars, uh -huh. and he has his mortgage. He owns a house, uh -huh. and he has a package. Yeah. He wants to change the insurance company. Yeah. But he has both with the same company. Okay. So he wants to know what, what we can do for him. 
The auto and the home? Auto and home. He wants to keep yeah, home insurance because he's paying pretty cheap, he says. Okay. But he wants to switch. Great. But let's do it. He's afraid that the home insurance will go up if he cancels. Oh, because of, it was the same company. So they get a multi policy discount. And then that discount with the companies that varies, it might be like a 10 to 15% discount. Okay? So if they're paying, let's say, 500 bucks a year for their home insurance, 10% of that is 50 bucks. 15% of that is 75 bucks. So their home insurance will go up $75 a year. Now, if I'm saving you $500 a year on your auto insurance, minus the $75 that will go up on your home insurance, I'm really net saving you $425. Is that worth it? 